That one ripped right center field. So much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your one in. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the new. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but count a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the dives. What a play! Love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get. From Target Field in Minneapolis, the show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Minnesota Twins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Lane Enlow. What do you look for here? Well, one thing for me that's a little alarming is that this guy is walking more than he's striking out. Tonight, and when you've got traffic on the base paths, one mistake can put your team behind the eight ball early in a ball game. So we'll see today if somehow he's able to reverse that trend, fill up the strike zone, get some soft contact, and perhaps move through this ball game without too much damage. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. And the 1-0. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Tracks it down for the out. One up, one down. Batting second, the shortstop, Oniel Cruz. Back at target field, bottom half of inning number two. Now batting Max Leading Kepler. For the twin, the first baseman, Max Kepler. The one two now fly ball to right center and there's one down batting eight the catcher Smart. two outs nobody on and now it's the switch hitting second baseman number eight Two, two. That's towards center. Haquez under it. And the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three. But they lead it three nothing. Here we go. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Emmanuel Haquez. He's over one. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. In there for strike one. This is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. Now, and the 0 1. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Left hand batter waits. Liner caught it second. Now it's DJ Stewart. Now batting, right fielder, DJ. Crawford over at second. Urias at first, one gone. Hammer, base hit, and it gets by him. And that's going to roll to the wall. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 5-0. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Came screaming off the bat. I'm sure exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means.
Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder, number eight. Emmanuel. Hey, your pitch, Paquez. see it. All right, come on now, one time, let it fly. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Hey, grip it and rip it, kid. Let's go. And it's one and one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Going to count one and two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Next one just misses. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Two on, one out. Lifted in the air, right field. Stewart in position. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Man at second with one away. Here's the catcher, Mark Baez. Now batting. The catcher, Mark Baez. And the pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Jaquez makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. Number eight. And up next for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez. Come on, the baby, get your pitch up there. Eight. Emmanuel Paquez. On the ground, out to short. Dives, and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it, and they don't get the out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. The pitch. On the ground to third, and it gets by him. Here's the throw to the plate. The tag, ow! I think the base runner thought he had a better jump on that than the third base coach, clearly, as he tried to score from second. Third base coach was trying to hold him up, had both arms up, but he ran through the stop sign, and that's a costly base running mistake. Here's Adley Rutschman. And runner, a pitch. Runner, runner. runner takes off for third. Tapped in front of the play. In time to Kepler. That ends the frame. Guardians strand a couple. They trail by double digits. 11. Max Kepler, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. The first baseman, Max Kepler. The pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the catch for the out. The catcher, number one, Mark. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. 
Next pitch misses, and now 2 0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Here we go. The pitch. That Four misses. Three. three balls, no strikes. Ball. Well, I would expect no in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Let's go, kid. One time, right here. The pitch. A swing and a miss, Down and that's one. strike one. <laughs> 3 0 hack right there. Say, man, I'm going to go for it. 3 1 is on the way. Three, swing two. and a miss as he was out front that time. Hey, it's your pitch. Drive it deep. Here we go, baby. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Buxton racing over to make the catch. Now batting. Shortstop. O'Neill. Cruz. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final 12-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Minnesota Twins. First and pitch now, coming your way next. Your Minnesota Twins. First pitch moments away. And on the hill, Jordan Balazovic. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Singy. Last time out, it just seemed like he wasn't trusting his stuff. He fell behind in the count, walked a number of guys. Today, he's got to pitch aggressively, and he's got to pitch inside. Emmanuel Paquez stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next offering is fouled back. Hey, here we go. Come on now. The line of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. So two on with two away. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. The designated hitter. Alex Kirilov. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Paquez drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Twin strand a pair. They're down. Back in Minnesota. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder. Emmanuel Paquez. Balazovic back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Kicks and deals. Swings through that. Two, Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. And one and two. O2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? And here it comes. Oh, you that one Line up, boy. and a base hit into right. So a man on base to start the inning. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. 
Yeah, Boog. I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Here's O'Neill Cruz. There's a swing and a drive. That one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tagging for third. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit. This guy has turned into a beast. Jaquez takes his lead at third with one away. On the ground, right side, and a base hit knocks in a run. Hey, Adamore, nice hit. Picks himself up in RBI. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Emmanuel Paquette. Nice piece of pitch, huh? The center fielder, Emmanuel. Okay. The wind and the pitch. And Count there's a the ball. The 1 0. That's and downstairs. Two. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And it is two and one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And the pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Falls it in for the out. Now batting. The shortstop. Anthony Alford, the next twin up to hit. Now batting. The left fielder, Anthony Alford. A one down. This to center field. Can't get there. Base hit. Throws to second. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Six innings behind us, all square at two and two. Get your pitch, Emmanuel Paquez digs in for the Guardians. One for three. Yeah, you know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So, off speed. Oh, now this ball gets down. The run comes in to score from second. It's 3-2. Clutch hitting right there to give him the lead this late in the ball game. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. So two down, and now O'Neill Cruz. And make it yours. The one two and there he goes fly ball pretty well struck right field back there pulls it in on the warning track midway in inning number seven and it's time to stretch Guardians three hey, come on now. and What's here is right here? Emmanuel Paquez good contact guy good defender number eight. Emmanuel Hey, be patient. Get your pitch, huh? Foul ball there. The 0 1. In the air to left center. Nice grab on the run. Out number two. Oh, 
Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. And your final, 6-2 to two for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final one. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2026 Minnesota Twins. Just about to get started. And on the hill in this one, Simeon Woods Richardson. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Ground ball up the middle. Arise. Collects it. On to first. Out. One up, one down. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Here's Alex Kirilov. Really thriving with the bat this season here at home. Here's a 1-1. Center field. Racing makes the catch. One down. Batting third. The second baseman. Louis. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. So in now for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder. Emmanuel. Okay. They see it, drive it. Let's go. The right hander back to work. And there's the strike. All well, right now, this battery is seeing the aggressiveness of the hitters early in the count and often. So, got to be real careful that you don't give too good of a pitch, especially early in the count. The next ball offering misses, JT, and it's JT. a ball and a strike. And a pitch. Nope. Just hey, missed. Right the count is two and one. And the righty deals. That's Just off the line. outside the part down. of the plate. The 3-1. And a foul ball. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Taylor Walls will hit next. Grounded out his first time up. The Guardians yet to pick up a hit here. That one to first, Sano goes to second for one, but the return throw is off target. They can't turn the double play. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes. Mark Baez getting ready to hit. The catcher, number one. Walker, the runner at first with two gone. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And that will end the inning. 
So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. Well, both sides Emmanuel. equally as strong. On, so Watch not out. a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth, yeah, stepping up for the Guardians, Emmanuel Jaquez. Emmanuel Jaquez. Come on, guys. Get your pitch up there. Wendelkin back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Let her rip right here. Right hander kicks deals. Just missed. Hey, drive it deep, big guy. Here we go. Here's a 1 1. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Hey, there you go. Nice hit. Now, here is Taylor Walls. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. When you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He circles the bases. Third home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Well, a pitcher always wants to miss down if he's going to miss with the breaking ball. Pretty good pitch, but just a really good swing on it. He stayed down, he got through it, and he got rewarded. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Touch Emmanuel right Paquez. Emmanuel Paquez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hey, drive those guys in. Here we go. In the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. Here we go. Need you right here. And the next pitch is way outside. Smith checks the runner and he's back in easily. Next offering is in for a strike. Kowser leads off first with one away. Hey, hey, no one better now. Next Three offering two. way off the plate. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. That's hard hit on the line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Second and third, one gone. 
And up next for Cleveland, Taylor Walls. No one better needs you right here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And that'll load the bases. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's Adley Rutschman. Bases loaded, one away. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. In the air, left side, Kirilov makes the play. Runner tags for home, lay at the plate, not in time, he's safe. And they lead by four. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. And now it's Bobby Bradley. Paquez, the lead runner at second. Walls at first, two out of the inning. Double steal. Up the middle, and that's a base hit. Paquez coming home. He'll score, and the lead is up to five. Well done. Drives in the run. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.